Hello and welcome. I'm very excited to talk to you today about synthetic data and your artificial intelligence workflows. Look, I think we all understand that artificial intelligence is more and more an important part of our software ecosystem. Artificial intelligence, unlike software, relies on data for us to train it. So when we have a software algorithm that's not performing, we go back to the code and we improve the code. But when we have artificial intelligence algorithms that aren't performing, it's very difficult to go back and try to somehow improve the data that was used to, uh, to generate it in the first place. But what if we could create that data whole cloth? Well, it turns out there are ways to do that. We have a lot of the technologies that we need, but we don't have the workflow tools to make that a part of our AI development processes. Now, this is not a problem that's going away. There are a lot of data challenges when it comes to artificial intelligence that starts with things people talk about on a regular basis, sort of edge cases, those things that we just don't see very often. And if we don't see them very often, we don't have them in our data sets in order to train our algorithms. Natural problem. Furthermore, the things that we do have data on are often mislabeled. It's harder than you might think to get high accuracy in your labeling, and any noise in that labeling directly impacts the performance of your algorithms. Now, both of those assume that you have data in the first place, which many systems don't, whether because the sensor doesn't exist or because you're doing a new type of problem that just doesn't have a data set yet. And then finally, even when, even when there is data and the labeling is good, the data is often sensitive or even classified, whether that be medical data or, or otherwise inaccessible information. Uh, in all of those circumstances, we don't really have the data that we need. In fact, it's such a central problem that data scientists spend upwards of 80% of their time trying to address just this problem, meaning not building models, not improving their algorithms, just getting the data where they need to. Uh, and there are some tools to handle real data, but there aren't really tools to do that for generative or what we like to call synthetic data. So we absolutely need more tools for data generation, but it's more than just the data generation. We need tools to carry out the engineering of that data.